Hello, my name's Tom Frana. I'm the president and the CEO of Ion Corporation. With me today is Steve Pico, vice president of federal sales for Vion Corporation. We're going to do a broad ranging discussion about the market we find ourselves in and one of the great initiatives that is being driven in that market being the cloud environment. Steve, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me, Tom. The uh, first and foremost, the federal marketplace and the cloud initiative, your view, reality or hype? It's uh, hype moving to reality. So uh, we started out with the, you know, the classic hype factor, everybody was enamored with the cloud, um, but then they had to face the reality of how do you get to it? Um, how do you procure it? How do you sustain it? Um, there were a number of early initiatives that involved moving to large you know, commercial cloud providers that had varying degrees of success, but at the end of the day, the government is very security focused, and the concept of throwing your data out into this completely intangible and untouchable thing um, is a little nerve-wracking. So I think our approach, which is private cloud, which is delivering all the goodness of a multi-tenant cloud utility environment on the customer premises within their own security boundaries, uh, is going to be the most quickly adopted methodology of cloud. So we're intersecting the market, I think, at a great time, at a, at a time where we can bring a tier one cloud to the customer premises and also offer them the flexibility of utility models on-prem with the ability to hybrid off-prem and uh, it really starts to solve the barriers to entry that I think we've seen over the last few years. We have picked VirtuStream as our partner to head into this marketplace. You led part of that. What intrigued you by VirtuStream? Uh, the fact that it was as diametrically opposite of the large commercial commodity providers as it could be. So uh, if you look at what they do, it is, uh, it is all tier one, high-end applications, the applications that businesses run their core functions on, finance, HR. Uh, it is built on an extremely sound platform. They uh, chose to build a, a, a Cisco-based cloud. So very robust x86 platform, very well integrated with VMware. And at the fundamental level, they built from the chipset up, uh, they based it on the Intel's uh, trusted execution technology, uh, as well as weaving in a host of compliance tools. So uh, there's nothing quite like it out there. Um, it is a uh, uh, very, very highly differentiated product. And it aligns very, very well with our concept of, of quality uh, delivery uh, and meeting our customers' high expectations. We see more and more programs and RFPs, RFQs coming in with a cloud component to it. Yeah. Is that going to be the driving force in the marketplace for the next several years? I think so. You're going to have people testing the waters. Um, there's going to be a lot of RFIs. Um, I think the the market hasn't been set in terms of how people procure and budget for cloud because they're so uh, capital oriented right now. Uh, they're not sure what they get for their money yet. Um, so it, it, it's really a, a, a very, very loose market in terms of what uh, people price this, this function at right now. So I think you know, as we test it with private, we'll find out what the market will bear. I think the market will pay a premium for a, a premium solution which is what we're going to deliver. So uh, I think we'll see things get a little more crystallized over the years as budgets start to reflect cloud procurement, uh, and they will. And we will be in a great position at that point to, uh, to deliver something that we've got a track record on doing already. So Steve, as you look at Vion and you look at what's out there in the marketplace, what do we need to do? What execution steps do we need to take in order to be successful? in the federal cloud market space? We've already done a few of them, right? You can't make up 35 years of, of, uh, of experience and reputation. So that, that's the biggest piece. We've already accomplished that. Um, but how we build on it is going to be critical. And I think we've made a very, very uh, strong first step by choosing VirtuStream. Uh, now we have to ensure competency uh, to deliver in 
alignment with what our customers expect for us and what we expect from our product. Uh, we have to make sure people know that we've got it because having the most wonderful offering in the world and having no one know about it is, uh, is, is, a, is a huge failure. And I think everything we're doing right now aligns very, very well with it. But you know, we have to, again, close the loop on everything that we do to support the life cycle of a product with a customer. So uh, planning, designing, delivery, implementation, and most importantly, the after-sales support. It sounds like the single biggest challenge we're going to have is the after-sales support. Mm -hmm. well, you want to better define that for me? Sure. Uh, it's, it's, it's two things. First of all, we want to make sure that we are giving customers a, a comfort level on um, accessing the product. You know, I think we'll have to, maybe coax is not the right word, but you know, we'll have to help them along in, in, in bringing their their user model from a, a standard, uh, you know, siloed approach into a utility cloud environment. Um, that's more of a professional services scenario, I think. Uh, on the other hand, there'll invariably be uh, technical glitches as applications are migrated, and there'll be user issues and network issues because at the end of the day, the cloud is all about access. So the cloud is wonderful up until you can't get to it. So we'll have to make sure we're able to address those technical issues as well. So I think it's twofold. It's teaching people how to wring the value out of what they bought, but also making sure that they are well supported as they, as they use the product. The, there are some signs that commercial users are trying to get into the federal marketplace. You think they'll be successful? I think to some extent. I mean, there, there's a range of applications that are perfectly fine uh, to run in the cloud. I mean, why not run web hosting in the cloud? Many customers are already doing that. Uh, on the other hand, uh, there are uh, very sensitive applications or applications that carry very, very sensitive data that uh, aren't well suited for that environment. You know, and frankly, the inverse of that is those large commercial providers are not necessarily well suited for building a subset of their environment in a private scenario. Uh, you know, I think what we're doing in taking a, a, a tested and proven slice of the VirtuStream utility cloud, bringing it to the customer prem for a purpose-built private cloud is a very, very solid approach. And that may certainly find some competitors as the market develops. And I expect it would. You know, this is America and, uh, you know, that's, we are the, you know, the fountain of innovation. So as people see this and as it evolves, there'll be competition out there. But right now, I think getting into it as an early mover where we're at um, and proving that this does work is going to be a very, very large uh, advantage for us.